Like, I, I don't think you should aspire to be like me. Take the best parts of me, but don't aspire to be like, like me. I'm very flawed in many, many arenas. If you could only invest in one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Are we talking asset class? Or yeah. Or and, or well, asset? anything you like, well, really. I it? suppose, but everyone says yourself and we get that answer okay. all the time. So let's not say that one. Yeah. Okay, so if it comes to uh, asset class, I would say real estate, 100%. Um, for me, but also I was taught from a young age, once, once again, it's just my mom coming through, like, you know, uh, real wealth is, is real estate, is owning something tangible, right? Like, look, of course I'm a, a fan of cryptocurrency and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it's, not, it's nothing tangible, it's nothing real, mm -hmm. right? Um, whereas property is something tangible, it's something real. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, even watches, it's something tangible, it's, yeah. it's something real. Uh, so I would say 100% real estate and also real estate has the best tax advantage as well because there's so much stuff that you can do in terms of uh, pulling out money and this and that and you know so I'd say that when it comes to sort of the more esoteric side of it I'm actually gonna have to steal your answer and say people <laughs> because the, yeah. you know basically people is leverage right and that's what I'm saying like I tech on paper work now less than I've ever worked before yet I consistently were making strides in every single company yeah. because of people mm. so yeah 100% so when is enough <laughs> enough uh, once again what are we talking about here Accomplishments, money. Enough. Um, okay, accomplishments, never enough. Because for me, and once again, by the way, as I said, I want to make this very clear. That's a mental illness. Okay, like I, I don't think you should aspire to be like me. Take the best parts of me, but don't aspire to be like, like me. I'm very flawed in many, many arenas. So for me, it's it's just, I, I can't stop. I don't know what it is. You know, I, I just can't. It, it's a, maybe it's just stuff from my uh, childhood, my background. Uh, I can't. When it comes to money, once again, it's never an, it's an infinite game, but it, the reason it'll never be an, okay, not that it's never enough. The reason I'll just always have more because it's, I will, the things that I'm doing are providing value to the marketplace. So I'm just getting rewarded in return. But if you want a more concrete answer, when is enough? Um, I'd say when your investment portfolio provides you with half a million a year, you know, in, in sort of residual income. Um, so, you know, I think once you get, to, I think really once you get to like, you know, I know you mentioned 10, uh, you know, once you get to 10, really you can kind of that's it you, you've kind of won, Kick the, back won the game and yeah. relax you've taken yeah, it, on the world and you've won you, the, yeah. and you've won the real life of uh, r real game of life yeah yeah there you go you won the game and now you can have you know have a beautiful family you can have three you can have three mojitos and by the fourth realize you made a grave mistake and that you know it's depressing it's a miserable existence <laughs> and then get back to work yeah and then get back to work <laughs> or, or, or the, my favorite is the laptop lifestyle yeah. have you guys ever tried working on the beach you get sand oh, everywhere sand is such what a pain you, isn't it oh no, it's ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> when it was really hot we tried to work on the beach the whole team so we bought a little tent uh, really yeah any good it, it, no it was terrible <laughs>